So before I do this unboxing video, I wanted to share with you these. These are a pair of Allen Edmonds strands in bourbon. And they were my very first real dress shoe. And I have worn these things out. They've had to have been resold twice. You can see, if you look back here, this is a resoling job. I've had things added to it. I've redone the heel, heels twice on these. The thing is, I always like this style. I've moved on to other brands. Um, I don't buy a lot of Allen Edmonds like I did before, but this particular style is something I really love. So, when Allen Edmonds had a recent Memorial Day sale, I decided that it's time that I get myself a pair of Allen Edmonds woven strands. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys look like. And let's get started. Let's go ahead and unbox these. So these are the woven strands. I chose the co color burnished copper. As I showed you in these original ones that I bought, these are bourbon. This is a discontinued color. I really liked it. And when I went to the Allen Edmonds store, the guy told me that this might be as close to bourbon as we're gonna get. And I like kind of a, a lighter brown color. I think it's very versatile. So that's what I chose. Let's see what these look like. Nice bags come with this. Um, you know, any quality dress shoe should come with nice shoe bags, but these look pretty nice. These are flannel. Uh, so far, so good. There they are. I really like this color. Look at this. I really wanted this woven style for summer. Let's see what the other one looks like. Oh, here's the other one. Very nice. Let's get a closer look at these guys. So I want to get a bit of a closer look at these. So you can see these are the woven strands. So they're kind of, you can see they have the cap skin here, the solid and the woven here. I really did want these for summer. This is actually a, a pair I've been looking at for a while, but I've never found it at a price that I wanted to buy. But I would tell you, I got these for $139 the Memorial Day sale, an amazing deal. And you're not gonna get, I mean, a pair of shoes like this for that price. So, I mean, totally worth it. Um, these usually retail about, I think these are 425 or 395, I can't quite remember. Um, but I think that it could be, you know, I don't know if I'd buy it at full price, but these are well-made shoes. So, you know, you're never going to get ripped off, I would say, you know. Ellen Edmonds has been taking some hits for quality control, but these look pretty good. Look at this. So you can see here, these are an open channel here. So you can see these are Goodyear welted. This is a very nice welt. Let's take a look closer at this welt here. Look at that. And these are quality shoes. They're made in America. Now I admit, now the burnished copper, as I see it closer, you can see that this looks more like copper. This looks more like a darker brown, almost like their cigar. But I really do like, uh, actually this kind of looks a little bit <laughs> like snake skin or something like that, look at that. But I like it, this is a very good summery look. I consider getting the dark chili version of these, but I, I don't know, again, I'm thinking these seem very summery and the dark chili is a great color, but I don't know, these might be a bit more versatile because he's got the so heel there. Let's look at the other one. So, you know, what I'm seeing is you know, no quality control issues here. These are firsts. If you know Alan Edmonds, um, they do sometimes sell seconds at a reduced price, but these were not seconds. You know, this has 
you can see here the stack leather heel excellent here you know i'm looking here this looks like a 360 welt here it's a really good welt very good quality on both of these shoes uh, the inlining is very good this is i think on something called the 65 last so if you're thinking about these i find i have slightly wide feet i find these are a little bit narrow so i have to size up half a size so I usually wear a 10 and a half wide. I went ahead and went with an 11 medium. I did try on a 10 and a half wide in these and the, the fit was kind of funny. So I would just say, uh, if you have slightly wide feet, size up half a size, oh, let's get this. What is this? Let's take a look. Hmm, is this, here's the question. Is this stitching? Looks like it's a little, I don't like that, huh? Is this going to mess with the quality of the shoes? So some people, you know, I can put this up in my many forms and I, I will do this just to uh, maybe give an update on this video later. So let's see, see the stitching? See how this is kind of out like this? So I'll say, look, it's an imperfection. Clearly I need to take this back. But when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking actually this is probably not anything that will mess with the quality of the shoe itself. Like the sole's not gonna fall off. Uh, so I gotta get, you know, run down and make the sole come off. So I would say this is a minor thing. I When I think of imperfections, guys, I think of things that actually hurt the quality of the shoe. Uh, things that might uh, make the shoe less wearable or, or actually looks really bad. So if you know, it's like a big, scuff on here i might do this but you, know, you can see on the uppers here i see no issues but we'll see the only thing i see uh that i could claim would be a bit of an imperfection is going to be the stitching here things that are on the sole of the shoe i've seen them before where you've seen i've seen marks on soles but the fact of the matter is you are going to walk on this okay nobody will notice but i will fix it it's the only thing i've seen on this, like I said, Alan Edmonds takes a few hits here and there um, about their quality control going down over the years. I don't feel like this stitching is going to hurt the quality of the shoe. My gut tells me this probably isn't anything to be concerned about. And now the final comparison. So again, the guy at the Allen Edmonds shop said that this color is going to be more like the bourbons I had before. So I want to compare. Let's compare the colors. So this was bourbon. Now, mind you, I've shined it a bit over, over the years. And I did put some mahogany on here, which gives us a little bit of a different coloration. But you can see here, I, th I think maybe, you know, if I'm saying that, you know, burnished copper is the new bourbon sure i think especially here you can see i think the issue we had with bourbon and why it was discontinued is that it really depended which pair of shoes you got i mean the coloration on bourbon was kind of all over the place but i really like this color to be honest with you i thought it was a good color i thought it was a very versatile color and so as i'm comparing the two i think especially comparing the woven part here yeah i could i could see this could be more similar so, there we have it. I think, um, I don't know if I would recommend these at the full price. I think you could get probably a, a nicer shoe. However, I will say this, now in Edmund's defense here, I love this style. I love the strand. I love this particular shoe. And I really like the way they've done the woven version of this. And so if you like this style, I mean, you go for it. I think, I think they get this right with getting the right amount of woven with the right amount not woven to make this a very versatile, very nice shoe. So I would definitely recommend it if it's a style that appeals to you. If you're watching this soon enough and we're still in that Memorial Day sale, man, go get it. All the colors. If walnut, I did see a, a, an olive color that I did consider getting over this. Uh, but decided against it because I feel like this would be more versatile than olive. But 
And I don't know, at this price, I might get myself an olive pair as well. You never know. All right, well, thank you for watching uh, my unboxing of the Allen Edmonds Woven Strand of Burnished Copper. Feel free to leave comments below. And um, I always answer all my comments, so put them below. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Uh, I will be doing more videos. I've gotten a few new pairs of shoes in. I'll be doing unboxing of, so I would ask you to please stay tuned for more. And I'll bring these back. My newest Allen Edmonds with the oldest Allen Edmonds I own. And there you have it. Two pairs of Allen Edmonds. You know, only about, it's about the first pair in 2012. So we're in 2021, so again, 10 years old. I think they still look fabulous. So I'm hoping this other pair lasts just as long. Thank you everyone for watching. See you again.